Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. everyone and welcome to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is body parts and decision making and before we get into any lessons boys and girls we know that we need to sanitize Remember, when you're sanitizing, you are making sure that no germs get into your body. When germs get into our body, this is how we start getting sick. So, sanitize as regularly as possible. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about problem solving and data handling. For our lesson, boys and girls, we are going to start by going to page 26. On page 26, we are doing problem solving sums. Now remember, problem solving sums are little stories that have a problem and it is our job to solve it. We're going to do number four together. We're going to read it twice. Let us begin. Dan throws a surprise party for Jane. He invited 21 boys and 19 girls. Only 18 boys showed up at the party. How many children were at the party? Now we're going to read it a second time. And this time I want you to try and pick out the important information, the things that are going to help us to solve the problem. And then we also need to find out what we need to do. Are we adding? Are we subtracting? Are we multiplying? Or are we sharing? Let's read it again. Dan throws a surprise party for Jane. He invited 21 boys and 19 girls. Only 18 boys showed up at the party. How many children were at the party? So, we are told that this good friend invited 21 boys and 19 girls. So that's the first part that we are going to take. Let's take the number 21 for the boys. And then we are also going to take the girls number which is 19. So we know that the original number is 21 boys and 19 girls. But we are told more information that only 18 boys came, not the 21. So we also need to write the 18 boys. Now, boys and girls, it's very easy for us to just add all three together. But if you were listening carefully, it said only 18 boys came. So the information about 21 boys is not important. 
so you need to look out for those type of questions where they give you something that is not important so instead we are going to work with 19 girls and 18 boys we need to add those two together to find out how many children came to the party all together so what we are going to do since we want to find out how many children came all together we are going to add we are going to say 19 plus 18 so once we have our answer we can write a sentence about how many children came to the party we are going to start by saying 9 plus 8 now you can use your counters you can use your fingers anything you feel comfortable with we are going to use our fingers today so we are starting from 9 9 is already there and then we have our 8 fingers there we are and we're going to say 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so we know that 17 is our answer but there's not enough space to write 17 so mrs units has to go to mr tens and say mr tens our bag is too heavy can you please carry on the number one for us and we will keep the other number seven so mr tens will say yes and then we have a plus one here so the seven is going to be here and the one is going to be added later then we say one plus one and we know that one plus one equals two but we cannot forget our extra one from miss units so if we are saying one plus one equals two plus one more our answer will be three and now our sum is complete we have said 19 plus 18 equals 37 now we need to use that number to make a sentence in order to answer or to solve the problem we are going to say 37 children were at the party you start with your number 37 then you write children make sure boys and girls that you make your spellings correct check in the story sum for the spellings 37 children were there we go at mm -hmm, the party and now it is complete with a full stop so remember boys and girls show your working that's the first thing you need to do if you're going to take numbers out show which ones you're using and how you got your answer the other thing is read the story some carefully remember they tried to trick us by giving us a number that we didn't need so you need to make sure that the numbers that you take are the ones that you need to solve the problem and then after you write your sentence make sure that you read the sum a third time to be super sure <laughs> that your answer is correct take your time with all of them boys and girls and if you need help or if you need to draw it on a separate piece of paper that's okay as well so long you finish your exercise by yourself I'll see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. To end our lesson, boys and girls, we are going to do an exercise on page 27. 
On page 27, we are doing data handling. This is when we are given some information on a chart. It is our job to check the graph that we have been given so that we can answer the questions. Let's read. It says, Amber drew a graph showing the time she has spent on her social activities in one month. Now we can see that there are different activities and we can also see on the other side we have time. So let's talk about them before we have a look at the questions. Now I have the same one that Amber has in the book. This one is showing sport, art, drama, choir and dance. Now, these are the social activities, the ones that are at the bottom. And then for us to know how much time she has spent, the time is in hours going up, starting from zero hours all the way to nine hours. Now, as you can see, the activities are not the same. We can see that sport ends at five hours. And then we can also see that art is much shorter in terms of time with sport. You can see that drama is a lot more time than choir. And then you can also see that dance seems to be the time that she has spent the most. So now that we've taken a look at the times and the social activities according to the graph with different colors, let's now try and answer a few of the questions. Number one says, how many hours did she spend on drama? Well, that one is very easy to answer, my dear boys and girls. All you have to do is look for the activity first. And we have been told that it is drama. So we put our finger on drama and then we count one block for one hour. So we say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we know that she spent seven, but we don't just say seven boys and girls. Remember, we were asked about time. So we say seven hours. So make sure that when you're answering, you put all your answers in hours if you need to, if they ask how much time. Now let's skip forward and try and do number four. Number four says, on which activity did she spend the least time? So if we take a look at our activities, we have two that look like they are the same size. We have art and we have choir, but we don't know how much time. So we need to first check how many hours. Let's count the blocks. One, two, three, four hours. So art has four hours and then let's check if choir also has the same. One, two, three, four. So it looks like they both have four hours. So our answer for number four would be art and choir. So you will write art and choir. Choir. There we go. Now let's try and do the last one together. Let's take a look. The last one says, how many more hours did she spend on dance than on art? Now this one requires you to think back to a question. We already know that art has four hours because we just counted them. But now it's asking how many more hours did she spend on dance? So we now need to count from the time that the dance has all the way up to the end. Because we know that, okay, art has four hours, but we want how many more? So we know four, and we're counting on until we are done with dance. Five, 
is here so we say one two three four so we now know that art had four but how many more hours did she spend on dance she spent four more hours so our sentence will say she spent four more hours and don't forget your full stop so boys and girls a graph is very very fun to read i want you to try and do the other questions that we didn't do together take your time make sure that you read it carefully count carefully as well and when you're done double check by going through the questions again i'll see you soon after the advert break follow us on my zone facebook active kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with zoe and zoshi Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. Remember, if you're not sure what to do or something is very hard, it's okay to ask for help. Just make sure you finish your work by yourself and remember to practice, practice, practice. Now that we are done with our lesson, we need to sanitize. Sanitizing doesn't mean that you are going to be 100% safe. So you also need to practice good social distancing and as well as using soap and water. Don't forget to wear a mask when you are out in public. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Sasha and I were going to go and visit a friend of ours because he was going to show us how to brush our teeth nicely. Sashi, are you ready? Wonderful, Sashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mirket Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.